All right, so we're going to work on breaking down the defenders. All right, so we can get past them. So obviously we can score more goals. We can keep the ball. All right, if we have the ball, obviously they can't score. All right, so we're working on moving the ball forward. All right, with control to break down a uh, solid defense. Understand? That's our first session. Yeah? All right, two defenders in the middle. Three attackers will come out with one ball. All right, all you're looking to do is get past that end line. Defenders, if you win the ball, game's over. All right, we reset. Three more come through. Do you understand? We'll do a walk through just here. So, yep, two more come with me. No. Yep, and what's your name? Connor. Connor. So, Nor and Connor with me. All right, watch in here. Watch in. All right, so three versus two. All right, so we're looking to get down that end. All right, so two, three. Yep. As soon as the defenders win the ball, game's over. As soon as we get past that end, game's over. Understand? Yeah. yeah. All right, so three v two. All it is. Everyone start down that end all the time. All right, let's go. So we're going to, yeah, like I said, we're going to go through the attacking principles. So the first one we're going to teach them is penetration. All right, so can we go forward? All right, so again, that's that's a penetrating pass. Yep, yep. A forward pass beyond the defender's line. That's yep. exactly right. So um, that's a perfect. But then if we can't do that, well, we need to support. All right, so then we look to um, support. So if we can't make a run beyond, all right, we look to then support the player. And then when we receive the deck, that pass, can that player penetrate? So it starts again. All right, first thought is always, can I go forward? If I can't go forward, where do I do? All right, and then to do them, we need, obviously, width. All right, and yeah, we'll go through uh, in movement. So we'll go through those principles with them one by one while they're in here, and then we'll open it up to half field uh, and show them how it looks on half field. All right, and then after that, we reset the session and we go through defensive principles. So we look, work on, we work on the green team. So, stepped on the ball. I might have got that on video. Please. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Reuben. I may have got that on video. Oh, shit. Good. Next. Hold up. Back on the line. Start on the line. Come on, let's go. Who's making a run? Yeah, I faked them all. <laughs> I faked myself. Very good. Well done. Great pass. Run back, run back, run and run. Oh, I got five right, and hold it there. You guys, can you just guys come in just in here? You two groups, can you just come in just to that line? Just around that, near that halfway circle. That's it. Everyone in. Everyone in. You guys just stay on the line. All right, yep, just outside. Unless you, are you in this group? No. All right, so, again, we're working on attacking principles. So, what do we want to do with the ball? First and foremost, if I've got the ball, all right, and I'm going this way, where's my first option, what I want to do? I want to go forward. All right, can I get to support? Yep. All right, so my first option is I want to go forward. All right, now I want to get beyond those defenders, don't I? Yeah? Ultimately, that's where I want to be, past those defenders. So that's my first option, and this is our first principle. All right, so our first principle is called penetration. How do we get beyond, through, all right, around, Behind, behind, there. All right, so I've seen it a few times. What's one of the options? Through ball. ball, perfect. So you can just go high and wide, all right, high and wide. All right, so one defender comes to me, Chate. All right, so one option is ball through and beyond. All right, so through ball like that. All right, so first target principle is can we get to get beyond and behind? All right, come back. Now, if we're in a situation where we can't do that. All right, so that's my first option. I always want to go forward as my first option. If I can't go forward, what do I need? 
It starts with S. Space. space. I need space, but also need from them support. support. I, I need them to support me. Now, if they just run forward, go run forward, and they can't get the ball from me, they're leaving me isolated, aren't they? All right, so I'm isolated now. Normally, I would lose that ball. So if you make a forward run and you don't get the ball, what should you look to do? Come back. Come back. Come back. All right, so Hudson, make a forward run. All right, he can't get that ball. All right, so what could you do? Come yeah, come back, level with me. All right, so now I can play sideways. All right, now what's his first option he wants to do? Run. Go forward, yeah? So if he can either run forward or pass forward. So then I can then make that run. All right, so first option, always look forward. All right, can we play forward? If we can't, we then need support. All right, once that support's played, what's their first option? Forward. Can we go forward? It resets. If they can't, what do we need? Support. All right, it's always, always happening and it resets every pass. Yep. All right, so I can't go forward, I play there. He can't go forward, we support. All right, can I go forward? I probably could, and I can play that ball. All right, do we understand that? Yep. All right, so let's always look for that forward pass or forward run. All right, first option. If we can't, we look for support. So if you make a forward run and don't get it, come back and support. All right, let's go. Yeah, great play there, great play. Great play, good support, and then... They always giggle when I say penetration. Yes, I saw three. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, I could hear, I could hear him now. Uh, penetration. Exactly the same. Hey, that being said, they're going to remember that word. <laughs> well done. Good work. Yeah, we'll drive forward. Next train yep. As well. Oh yeah. The game as well. Think about it. Yeah. They might laugh about. It. Yeah. Go. All right. Well, it's going to stick in, stick in the head, isn't it? So. If you can't go forward, support. Yeah, yeah, great ball, ball great ball. ball Harry. Great ball, Harry. Hold, 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 just wait. Hey, yeah, yeah. All right, so now we're look, they're, they're looking to go forward, but yeah. at this stage, what we'll look at is a lot of it will probably just force the ball forward, force the ball forward. So then it's not the right time to go. Yes! Great ball. All right, it's not the right time to go forward, so that's when it's time to support. Yeah. All right, and then, yep. Yeah. And then we'll bring in width. All right, so the width is the next one. Obviously, can we get high and wide? Um, to look for that support and make the space. All right, and then the last one we're working on is movement. And then the fifth attacking principle is creativity. Well, if, you know, can we be creative on the ball? You know, can we draw this way and hit the reverse pass? And, you know, stuff like that, so. Yeah, cool, got it. This is really good, I even texted. Where did it? Try and engage? Yeah. <laughs> Straight away. Yeah, right. so then the next one, when we bring them in, we're gonna talk about the next two principles, which is width, All right? So creating space. Um, so obviously split defenders, um, and then it will make their mind up on where, where they can actually go. Um, and then movement. Oh, these ones are really going wide already. Yeah. yeah, yeah, most of them are going wide, and that's how I've just set them up, basically, the three. And the ball in the middle, they're naturally going that way, but which you know, but we'll talk about the movement. So this guy, can we get level and outside? So one, we can either get the ball to our feet or we can get the ball beyond. And it's also dragging that player. I'll try and get that defender to come yep. forward. Yeah, if the defender comes forward, we go with them, but the space is in beyond. Yep. Or if they're inside and blocking that pass, can we get the ball to feet and we can go forward with our touch? But we need to be level and outside all right and then the next principle is uh move that run look so how does uh, when is that run time in that run uh can we make a third man run so when i get the ball here can my other player make the run for the next pass and the last principle is creativity so if we'll touch a little bit on that uh, but we don't want to get too taken over the top with creativity because a lot of them are creative and we don't want to stifle it, but it's all more the reverse pass. Can I look this way and hit the reverse pass and stuff like that, so. Do a messy pass through five players. Yeah. And Dutch goes yeah. Again. Well, Mary Fowler, World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. That through ball, perfect ball. Well done, well done. I'm seeing a lot more teams get beyond, which is great. All right, we're gonna skip to the next two principles.
All right, so just watching here again, defender set up. All right, ball here, please. All right, so what's the first principle? Everyone giggled. Attacking. Everyone should know it. Attacking. Penetration, yes, giggles. All right, so we look to penetrate. We look to go forward. All right, second principle. Starts with S. Support. All right, anyone think they know what the third principle would be? It's people that are off the ball. So movement and also width, width. All right, so Reese, can you just go all the way wide? Okay, all the way wide. All right, so if we get as much width as possible, all right, what does that create? Space. All right, now also, what's that defender now worried about? And me. All right, so. If he goes to Chay, go, go, Trayden, go to Trayden. All right, where's the gap? Yeah, I can play a gap for the middle. If he stays middle and compact with North, all right, we can then play feet. Now, this only happens, Trayden, I'll swap with you. If we can get our position in outside and level. Now, why don't I want to be here? Yeah, perfect. All right. Why don't I want to really be here if I could be there? Well, if I receive the ball, what's going to happen? Yep, Jaden, pass me the ball. All right, defender. Now, I'm stopping going forward, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah? So, I want to be in the best possible position, which is outside and level. So, again, if the defender's more on me, all right, I can make my run in behind. And it's a foot race. And I like my chances. <laughs> All right. Or, well, because the defender has to turn, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah? yeah. All right. And also, he's facing his own goal, running. All right. Or, if he's inside, blocking that through ball, I can get that ball to feet. All right. And where can I take my first touch? Forward. Forward and beyond. All right. Do you understand that? So, that width. Now, movement as well. All right. If. I make my forward run and I don't get the ball. What do I look to do? Run back. Run back. Support. So I support into here. Yeah, I can support. While that's happening, my other player can make a good run. All right, and I can put that ball through there. Do we understand? All right, so we got to think a couple of moves ahead as well. All right. And the last principle, fifth principle, is a bit of creativity. Now, that ball that I just passed, we call that a reverse ball. Why do you think it's a reverse ball? Well, I'm looking one way and I pass the other. All right, so I'm here. All right, I disguise it. All right, I might look to play back. All right, but I put it around the corner. All right, do we understand that? All right, so a bit of creativity as well. All right, but let's now work on our support off the ball and our movement now. All right, offsides will apply now. All right, so we gotta get our movement right. The timing is crucial. All right, if we go offside, what do we look to do? Come back and support. All right, let's go. You might stop it in the moment and say, look, freeze. All right, he can't go forward, what do we need? We need support, yeah? All right, let's go, come on, let's go. <laughs> so he's showing a bit of creativity by hitting it over the top, which is fine. Now, we want them to express themselves. What we don't want to do is stifle them. Yeah. No, it has to be this way. Yeah. No. Let them go. Let yeah. them make their decisions yeah. out there. That's part of yeah. it, isn't it? Exactly. Um, what we try to do, we're trying to make problem solvers. Yeah. We can't tell them exactly what to do each and every time. So, um, we want them to make their decisions based on what they see. Yep. And based on their experiences. Yeah. Before. This worked, Before. This didn't yep. work. This worked. This well, this didn't, didn't work, but I maybe I yep. tried this one. Like that. So, we just hit a reverse pass. All right, he drew the defender and hit the reverse. Um, and then stuff like that so we can start building on and say, look, all right, well, that didn't work, but why? Yep. So they can understand why it didn't work. Yep. All right, um, and we call this, so this is this is even a warm-up. Um, so this saves, you know, doing laps and all that, like, because they're getting warm, they're doing football actions, they're not really killing themselves. Yep. We can then step this up by really pushing it. Um, add a goal in at the ends or whatever, and that really gets them going. Right. But um, yeah, the biggest thing is we, we increase PDE. So perception, what they see. Yep. 
decision, the decision they make, yep. decision they make off the ball, the decision they make on the ball, um, and then the execution. All right, so how do we hit that pass? And, yep. All right, and then we look at the movement off the ball. Yeah, perfect. Good penetrating run and a pass. Yep. All right, so that's good movement, good width, and a great pass through the defenders. All right, so you reward that. Right, you, you tell them, yeah, you reward that. So they understand, well, that was good. All right, let's keep trying to do that. What we don't want to do is just um, exactly how we want to do it every time because we want that creativity come in. We want them to make mistakes and learn from those mistakes. So one thing they're also not doing is they think penetration has to always come from a pass. Penetration could come from running with the ball too. Yeah, yep. So this one might be actually, we might stop in the moment and teach that. Because the defense is now cracking onto it and going, okay, well, I'm going to sit back wait for the pass and wait for the passes. Because that's all they're just passing. They're just passing. They're just passing. So, yep, off you go. Oh yeah, I love that. I like that. I like that. That works. Hey, that's it. Worked. Got beyond, didn't it? All right, and hold it there. All right. So I've noticed a lot of the times, the our first thing is to penetrate is always a pass, a pass, pass. How else can we penetrate? Yeah, we can run. So Ben, just go high and wide. Whoop. Yep. And Ben, just go high and wide that side. Are you Ben cool. too? No. <laughs> no. All right. So if we're always passing the ball, what's the defenders going to do? Stay back or stay on those players for the pass. Yeah? So if we're always looking for the pass, the defenders are going to go, well, I'm just going to stay there or I'm just going to just stay back and not pressure this player. All right? So what can I do now? I can dribble. I can run. I can run with the ball. All right, what's going to happen? Yeah, someone comes in and then I look to pass. All right? So if we have no pressure, if the pass isn't on, we take the run. If the run's not on, we take the pass. All right? So again... If I'm running into here, I might even dribble towards my own teammate. All right? Yeah, I can dribble here. Now I've created a 2v1. But I've also got that ball in behind for the reverse. All right? But here, I've got a 2v1. All right? Isolated. What can you do? You can't really get the ball here. So what might you do? Yeah, perfect. All right? You can come into here. All right? I can look to pass there, even take him on, or little one, two, in beyond. All right? You understand? All right, don't always just do the same thing. Run down, we go wide. Let's change it up. All right, let's go. All right, yep, just go on the outside. All right, so I talked about it at the end zone. All right, Jaden, just jump up there, go wide. What was your name again? Connor, yep. All right, so a lot of us now, and we've done this a lot of times and I've seen a trend, we're always looking for the pass. All right, how else can we penetrate? Yeah, with a dribble. All right, so if we're always looking for the pass, what's the defenders going to always look to do? Well, they're always looking for the pass to cover the pass. All right, so I might go into here. All right, yeah, I might look to pass out there. All right, he's thinking I've passed that so many times. All right, I can either take my touch through and go myself. All right, or I can look to pass and draw him in. All right, now what else I might do is I might dribble towards my teammate. All right, if I dribble over here, what's this create? Yeah, I've got a 2v1 now. All right, plus I can also get that ball into behind there. All right, with a reverse pass. Now, if I come into your zone, what might you do? Yeah, so you might come around. All right, I've got this 1v1 here. I could even play into here and get a 1-2. All right, and we're beyond. Or, all right, I can come into here. Look to take him on, look to pass, all right, and take it myself. All right? All right? Now, we don't always have to go for the pass if the run's on. All right? If the run's on, we take the run. Now, if we run with the ball, what's going to happen? Yeah, defenders are going to come. Then what do we look for? Passes. Yeah? Or fake the pass, take the run. Yeah? All right? Let's be a little so bit again, creative as well. With your team, you'll probably only have a couple of waves, not this yeah, number, yeah. but it's fine. Um, so there's a good little one-two. Perfect. All right, so one-two work there. Um, it's just now we want to stop and coach in the moments now. All right. 
It's also if the defenders get it, how do you how do you get back? Right? Yeah, you've got to switch yeah. from attack. Yeah, of course. Really so that's a transition. It's too slow yeah. then. They, they, they were attacking, they just yep. did that. Yep. And that's why you gotta give you gotta give an incentive for the defenders. Yeah. Yep, let's go. Alright, so a lot of them. There you go, let's see what Noel does. Yeah, but none of them, <laughs> if you see none of them, are level and outside their player. Got it. Got it. Alright? So, use the whole width. Yep. Yeah, can we? Yep, we use the whole width and none of them are level and outside. Yep. Alright, if anything, they all attacked in basically a, a run. Yep. Uh, yeah, so that's easy to defend. Yep. Right, so what you can do with your team, you, and then what happens is from this you start building up. So you add a midfielder, and then you add another midfielder from your attacking team. So you got now pressure from behind. Yep. So you can just add it up, and then by the end of it, you got a half field game. So you, then you don't have waves anymore. You're just constantly going. <laughs> All right, and freeze. Make sure you guys can listen. All right, so a lot of the time we're doing this. So to get in beyond. Is anyone in a good position to make that run in beyond? Right now? Yeah, maybe. But what? where do we need to be off the ball? Outside and in line, yeah? So can you get outside and in line? Yeah? Perfect, don't go offside. All right, so you're outside and in line. And you can probably even go further. All right, can you get outside and in line with him? Very good. Now, as a striker, can you get outside and in line with one of these players? Same of you. Go. Go. All right. Now, we are outside and in line. So, if I start coming towards this player, who's my free player? Ready. Yeah, you can make the run in behind. All right. Now, if he drops, Hudson drops. Drop, drop, drop. All right. Now, we can attack the space. Now, you're outside in line with this player, aren't you? All right? So, I can play you. Where's the space then? Even there, yeah? Or even a one-two to me for you. All right? Always outside and in line with your closest I defender. The space. I attack the space. I attack the space. I attack the space. All right? All right, and then we look to go. All right? We attack the space until it's on. All right, now that ball could have went to any four of you guys. Yeah. All right, so you always be ready for it, yeah? Make your attack and run. If you can't get the ball, come back. Then go again. All right, always attack the space. Let's go with pace now. Come in in front. All right, so just recapping the attacking principles. So when we're on the ball, what's our first thought? thought? Yeah, can we go forward? Yeah? All right. And our favourite word of the night was? Penetrate. 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 All right. So can we look to penetrate? That is, can we get in beyond the defenders? Yeah? All right. Now, if we can't do that, what's our next thought? Yeah, where's our support? All right. We need support. If we make that forward run and we don't get the ball, do we just continue that run? No, we come back and support. All right. Now, if we come back and support and we don't get that ball, what can we do again? Run again. Run again. Yeah, we can make the forward run again. Yeah. All right. So how many times in a game have you made a run down the wing, you didn't get the ball and you just start there and go. <sighs> Heaps of times. I know. I used to do it. All right. So if you don't make get the ball, now that run might do what as well to help your team? Score. Yeah, good. All right, that run might drag a defender. Wait, that run might drag a defender that creates space for someone else. All right, draws that defender away, makes space for my striker maybe, or a midfielder, or a another player to run into. Yeah. All right, so not every run, if you don't get the ball, is useless. Yeah. All right, but if you don't get the ball, where can I go then? All right, we look to support somewhere else. All right. Now, where do we want to be positioned to our closest defender? Outside. Outside and... Yeah, outside and level. All right. Now, outside and level means 
If what's your name? Harry. Harry's got the ball. Defender closes down. Yeah, goes down, close down, close down. I I stay outside and level. Right? So I can receive that ball. Now, if I just stay where I was and he closes down, closing down, and freeze, can you pass me that ball? No. So I'm not in a good position, am I? But if I stay outside and level, I can get that ball. Where can I go? I can go beyond him, yeah? All right? So that's why we stay outside and level. And I move with the defender. So if he goes, I come. All right? If he goes back, all right? I come back. All right? I'm always outside and level. All right? Plus, I can't be offside. All right? So if he goes, I come in and support as well so I can go beyond. All right? Um, perfect. Next one as well with that is, go again. All right, yeah, he's got the ball. Just grab a ball. Grab a ball, it's easier with a ball than trying to imagine. All right, so we've got the ball. We play the immediate ball. All right, what's the defender? Defender just done it. Who's he looking at? Who's he can't see? Who can't he see? Yeah, we play a little bit of hide and seek. All right, so he goes for a run. All right, we go in behind. All right, defender's looking at the ball. That is so hard to defend. First thought of a defender is what? Ball. ball. So ball moves, defender moves, they come here, we can go somewhere else. All right, well done. All right, so that's attacking principles.